Welcome back to the channel, friends. Let's talk about how to create a professional email for your business so that you guys can switch from using an email like your name at gmail.com or yahoo.com or outlook.com to something a little bit more like your name at your website.com. And it's really easy to do. First, we need to set up a new email through your website domain. Your website domain is going to appear behind the at symbol on your email. So something like Levi at Levi's products.com. Levi's products.com is the website's domain name. If you don't already have a website ready to go, I'll go ahead and leave leave a link down in the description to one of my many website tutorial videos where I show you guys how to build a website from start to finish for as cheap and easy as possible. I mean, it's in our name. We here at Create a Pro Website show you guys how to create professional websites. So be sure to check that out. In order to have a website up and running, you have to have two things, a domain name and a hosting plan. A website literally doesn't exist on the internet if it doesn't have both of these things. You can think of a domain name as like a phone number and then signing up for your hosting plan is like signing up for a mobile phone plan with someone like T-Mobile or Verizon or something like that. You can't make calls on your phone if you don't get a phone number or pay for a wireless plan. And the same thing applies here for your website. Now we here at the channel recommend Hostinger as your hosting provider because in our opinion, they're the absolute best. And their hosting plans include a professional email service called Titan that's built in so that you guys can create an email with your new domain name attached to it. So if you're trying to build a website, I'd recommend doing it through them. That being the case, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a professional email using Hostinger's hosting plan. And also just a heads up, every hosting provider is going to have a different email service that you guys have to learn how to use. So keep that in mind. First, you're going to want to log into your account with your hosting provider. Once you're inside your hosting account, you can go over to the emails tab at the top of your screen. Next, you're going to have to select which website you're going to try to add an email to. If you only have one website, then you're only going to have one option. Now, I have multiple websites, so I'll have to pick one. When you see the website that you want to add emails to, click on the manage button on the right hand side. Just as a side note, you'll notice under the status section that the setup has not been finished. Because the email has not been configured yet, Hostinger is going to ask which email plan you guys want to sign up for. I'll let you guys decide which one you want to sign up for, but they do have the free Titan email plan. The basic version is pretty simple because the Titan business plan and the enterprise plan include a lot of other features that you might need. So you guys can go ahead and read through all of the features included with your plan to decide what's best for you. I'm going to select the free Titan email plan for now. Next, you'll be prompted to create a new email account right away. From here, I can enter in my email that I want as well as a password and then my email recovery address. Once you're finished creating the email account, you guys can click on the create new account button. After creating your new account, you'll be able to access your webmail immediately, or you can begin to download the mobile app if you guys want to. If you don't want to look at the email that you just created, you can click on the done button and be taken back to a list of all of the emails that's connected to your website. Once you're inside your email, you will see the get started prompt. It will ask you to set a display name so that your recipients know who you are. Next, you'll be asked if you want to bring emails over from Gmail. Then you'll be asked if you want to create a signature. And finally, if you want to download the Titan app. You can say that you'll do all of this later because I'm going to show you guys how to do all of them inside of your dashboard so that you guys know exactly where these settings are. Now, you probably don't want to log into your hosting account just to check the email for your website every single time. So let's talk about how you guys can add a mail client to your account so that all of your emails are all in the same place. And setting up a mail client is basically just linking your professional email that you guys just made to a third party service like Gmail, which is the example that we're going to do in today's video. I'm going to show you guys how to link the professional email you just created to Gmail so that you guys can have all of your emails in the same place. It'll allow you guys to send and receive emails under this professional email that you guys just created. Let's get started. Be sure to keep your hosting your account open on one tab as well as your inbox open on the other because we're going to bounce back and forth. Back under your hosting your account, go back to the emails tab and click on manage on that website that you're working on right now. And from here, we're going to go ahead and click on configure desktop app. Now, this is the information that we're going to have to keep bouncing back to you. So make sure that you have this open on a new tab. Let's go ahead and open up our Gmail on a different tab. Let's go into our settings inside of Gmail by clicking on the gear icon in the top right corner and then click on all settings. From here, you can go to the accounts and import tab. We're going to be doing two things here. We need to link our incoming emails and then we're going to link our outgoing emails. And that's basically the gist of it. First, let's talk about the outgoing. Under send mail as, click on add another email address. A new window will be open so that you guys can go over to your hosting your account and then you can just reopen this window and have both of them visible. From here, we need to enter in that email address that we're trying to link as well as enter in your name that you want displayed. Next, we're going to copy over the outgoing server information for IMAP. We need the SMTP server as well as the port number. After that, we just need to enter in our username and password for the professional email that we just created and then click on add account. Next, it's going to ask for the verification code from your professional email. So let's go ahead and get it. Copy the link and paste it into the box. Now you're able to send 
send outgoing emails from your main Gmail account and from your new professional email that you just added. Let's work on the incoming emails. Under check mail from other accounts, check on add mail account. And a similar dialog box is going to open up for you guys. It's going to ask you guys for the professional email address again. So let's enter it and then click next. Leave the default pop three settings and then click next. Enter your username and password. Yet again, we're going to look at our hosting account email settings and copy over the configure via pop incoming server link and the port number. After that, you're going to want to check these three boxes. We want to leave a copy of the retrieved message on our server. We always want to use a secure connection when retrieving mail. And we also want to label incoming messages under our professional email. Next, click on add account. Congratulations. You just added your mail client and linked your Gmail account to your professional email. Once you're finished, you'll receive a final confirmation email from Gmail. Just make sure you guys open the email, click the link, and then hit the confirm button so that everything is finished. Now it's time to test out the email that you just linked up. Let's go ahead and compose a new email inside of Gmail and then send it through our professional email like this. Perfect. Looks like it worked. Now let's try responding to the email. Sometimes receiving your first email in your professional email account can take a few minutes. Awesome. Looks like everything is working perfectly. Congratulations on setting up your first professional email account. If you weren't able to follow along because you don't have a website yet, be sure to check this video out right here where I show you guys how to build a complete WordPress website from start to finish, step by step. After watching it, you guys can come back to this video and set up your professional email. I'll see you guys in the next video.